Good afternoon. This is Linda Cromar from Colorado, and I wanted to share with you. Uh, this morning we talked just mindset, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something that I bet is quite confusing to most people, and that is there are times when it's okay to sell, and there are times when it's not a good idea, and just knowing when that is and how you can get help doing it correctly. I do know and understand this, but I want to share some things with you. Uh, this is my Facebook feed, and I don't know whether I'll be able to scroll it. It's kind of slow, but I want... Hey, hey, everybody, say something uh, about where you're from. I don't know what to tell you. I have good connection on this end. Uh, you might try and see if uh, your connection is better uh, if you restart. Uh, but I always have a good connection, so I don't know what the problem is. Um, I'm not going to be able to scroll. The Facebook is just really super slow. But I want to get... Uh, I just, I just want to talk for a few minutes and explain some things. As you're looking at this... Uh, and this is Dee. She's a good friend of mine and she does know what we're talking about. So let me just put it on me again and um, um, hear about how important it is to understand something. Now, I don't know how many of you have read the book, um, Jab, 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 Right Hook. Hello there from Denmark. Hello, hello. Uh, anyway, um, Jab, 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 Right Hook. Gary Vandercheck, uh, very famous for this. He's written several books. Uh, great. Uh, so what did you get from the book? I want to see what your understanding is first. And then I will share some things. Uh, what I believe is kind of not happening for people and needs to. And that is, okay, I had my Facebook open. I was sharing with you. And re I was going to scroll, but I decided that it was going too slow and it was going to just kind of slow us down and not be able to talk. So one thing that I see all the time on this feed, yeah, it's understanding the platforms. Absolutely, that's part of it. And making connections is absolutely true as well. Uh, what does he mean by a jab, though? Do you know what I mean by a jab? Do you know what a jab is? Do you know what a right hook is? Um so I'm going to explain it because I understand what he's talking about. When we are doing our sales, it is actually selling your, uh, what you, a jab is when you just do a quick hit, right? And a right hook is a wham, right? So what is a, a right hook in the, in the case of internet marketing and people that are trying to build a business on the social medias is that, yes, there you go. Jabs are showing value, sharing things that don't absolutely for sure sell right then and there. But if you give enough jabs, yeah, jab, a right hook is the link to the sale. You got it. There it is. There's the, you know, bottom line. That's what it is. Okay, so how many times can you jab and how many times can you right hook? And what I'm seeing happening most of the time is that the right hook comes out all the time and the jab comes out there almost never. Um, if you're sharing something about your company and product, that is a right hook. If you're sharing something about anything that has to do with sales, it's a right hook. If you are jabbing, then that means you're sharing value that could be useful to people that you want in your market not necessarily for immediate sale. In other words, if you're blogging, if you're sharing videos, if you're doing uh, posts out on, uh, if you're doing posts out on you know, any of the social medias, in, in Instagram, it's usually pictures with text. In Facebook, it can be either pictures or text. I recommend both, actually, because people are very, very vi visual. And then, of course, um, if you're sharing like what we're doing today with the, the periscopes, uh, I use those as part of my content in my blogs. I do a lot of jabs before I do a right hook. Is it okay to sell? Yes, 
you just have to know that you've got to put a balance together with it because when you are only giving right hooks all the time and I see people, it doesn't matter what you're selling, I'm talking about in general, there's people on this uh, Periscope right now and we'll be listening in the replay that are from all sorts of companies so it's not a particular company or a particular product, it's that concept of thinking you got to sell all the time and actually to tell you the truth if you do the jabs the right way you don't have to do a heavy sale did you know that because I get people that come to me and say I love what you're doing I'd like to do that too how can I join you now if you get people to do that uh, that has nothing to do with our conversation Thunder Base anyway <laughs> if you get people to actually love what you're sharing with them and you help them and you give them something that they can put to use uh, then you uh, will absolutely have the opportunity to share your company or product or whatever it is you're selling and what I do is I recommend that you get yourself a list building application there's lots of them out there I use Power Lead System because of the fact that it's very economical to use. You can do uh, as many emails as you ever want to send to as many people as you ever want to send, and you don't have to pay more. You are trying to be disruptive, and I'm going to block you. Anyway. I believe that you need to look at what you're doing in your own marketing, whatever it is, and you need to make sure that you are actually interested in that person enough to help them. And then when they feel that they're loved and cared for, I mean, you don't have to be crazy about it, but when you're sharing things that helps them. I, I'm counseling with the people that are in my team on a daily basis and I don't get paid for every time that they talk to me but they do buy products from me because they know that I bring them value and it's not just about your daily talking to them on the uh, you know one-to-one -one or in like right here a periscope or in a video or in a webinar it doesn't matter how you want to do it it's just a matter of being with them and talking to them giving them yeah you can do face to face if that's what you want to do it's really has to do with how you want to build with them I can definitely talk to you about what I sell in the future but that's not what this is about today this is definitely not a jab video <laughs> <laughs> and I will give you at the end of this a way you can connect with me if you'd like to know more how's that and anyway so absolutely you want to give them value now what I see happening is I see two kinds of people especially I look at Facebook a lot because it's easy to tell on Facebook I see people that give all the time and they never ever turn around and figure out how to give a, a nice right hook and I see people that give right hooks all day long and they never learn how to give value. And you've got to find an in-between in place where you do give some value and you do give the right hook once in a while. Now how I do it a lot of the time is we have, yeah, somewhere in the middle. And so what we do is we share a training that's actually free. We do it every Tuesday. So it's actually playing 24-7. And if you want that, you can just come on over to my Facebook and ask me for it. And I'll be absolutely glad to share it with you. We share internet marketing tips and tricks every single week and we help you and you can absolutely uh, take everything that we teach and and do it or you can be part of what we're doing it doesn't matter we're, we're not tr we're very soft on the sale it's never a you got to get in now or your stupid kind of a behavior because that doesn't really get anywhere does it so the the right hook is actually welcomed when it comes they want to know what you have they want to know what you share when you do it right so what is a jab a jab is any kind of value that you share that might be related to your product but isn't necessarily your product directly in other words if you're in weight loss 
And you know that one of the things that people need to know how to do in order to do that, and I'm not in weight loss, but I do know that one of the things you have to do is uh, you have to teach them how to drink enough water. Now, nobody is selling water, right? But they need to know that. And if you're not drinking enough water, your weight loss is going to slow down or completely stop. So if you teach them how much water they need in their body to be effective as uh, building their weight loss, I'm going to share that with you. So stay with me till the end because I always share it at the end. Okay? And uh, so if you're sharing with them, that, uh, that they need a certain amount of water, and I don't know the actual amount. I think it has to do with weight. How much weight you have, you have to you have to balance that. And you have to do it through the day, not all at once. And if you share that with people, and you share other things that are good like that, like what kind of healthy foods they should be eating, and um, uh, that kind of stuff, because that goes along with weight loss, right? Learning better diet choices, learning right, what kinds of foods actually help them build their uh, their body so that it's strong and, and it's ready to lose weight. Because sometimes if we're not nutritionally sound, we're going to lose uh, body uh, muscle instead of weight, you know, instead of the pounds. And that's not uh, actually what you want to accomplish. Now, I'm not a weight loss coach. I'm just saying this. these are matter of fact things I know. Uh, there's a lot of detail uh, that you probably know if you're already involved with that. So you study your field, whatever it is. And in my case, I'm an internet marketer and I teach people how to build a leveraged income on the internet through tools and training that I have. And when I tell them that, they want to know because I don't, I don't go into a great big pitch and then we have great tools where you can share your um uh, <laughs> yeah i do that too absolutely <laughs> i i'll i'll just be really into somebody's scope and then i'm trying to dismiss something and then instead i end up in it <laughs> i do that all the time and i and it's easy to do and so don't feel bad <laughs> and, and so absolutely you want to um, you want to learn the balance and it's going to be different with each person. I can't say you do two or three and then you always do a right hook because sometimes it might be days before you should do a right hook. So you have to figure out what your balance is depending on who you are. And then you start building a value base. And what I mean by a value base is you have all of these things that you share with people. Like I have blogs and I have videos, but this is happening over time. It's not like you do it all at once. And you build up your uh, reserve of individuals that like what you have and they, they come to your stuff. Like all of you right now are on here because you really love what I share and you love uh, what I try to give to you. And you know that I bring value. And you know that I'm not here to sell, 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 because who wants to hear a commercial? But there are times when absolutely it is appropriate to give you a commercial. But you have to know when that is. And it comes after the relationship has begun to be built. Not at the beginning when the person doesn't know you and trust you. And so engaging, yes, absolutely engagement is very, very important. And thank you very much for saying that. And absolutely, you want to build really, really good relationships that they trust you. Like I have somebody I am connected with, and this is happening to me as well, when they don't even care what the thing costs that you sell. They say, what is it? Give me the link. I'm ready to get it. I want it. Give me the link. And that's kind of cool when that happens. Uh, and that doesn't happen when the person is a stranger and doesn't know who you are. So let's all work on building that rapport and that value. So that And it's got to be related to who you are. <laughs> I want that customer. Yes. <laughs> that will come if you do what I'm saying. Because I, I, taught, I positively believe that. I'm having that happen to me. And thank you so much for the hearts. I just passed 100,000 today, and that was really cool. I really appreciate that. And uh, I would love to have your comments and your connection. So I promise, as it asked, but absolutely, you can get in touch with me. 
by, let's see, get in the right place here, by coming to my Facebook. You're already on my Periscope. And my Twitter is the same name. My Facebook is Linda Cromar with a one. Instagram is Linda Cromar. And I'm always sharing good stuff on all of those places. Uh, and one thing you've got to realize also is that you might not notice that uh, the Internet is kind of making a change. It's not so much the big website anymore. It's the app. And this Periscope is one of the first ones to start out as an app and not switch over. Well, Instagram did it too. Uh, and they're, they're not switching over to just being... Uh, you know, a website, whereas Facebook started out as a website and now has an app. So definitely build yourself a, a value base of things that are of value to the customers that you would like to have. What do you want to know as a customer of your product? And then share that with people. And that is how you're going to build a larger value base that will help other people and they will want to be connected with you and they will want to buy from you. And that's what I have to share with you today. I hope that's been helpful and valuable to you. I will be coming back tomorrow. In the morning I do a mindset, quick call. Uh, I get, I'm calling them a call, but I do a quick periscope in the morning. And then I uh, do more of a strategy thing in the afternoon. It's always going to be different. And I also share it on my blog. That's at lindacromar.com. And I hope you guys have a most awesome evening. And we'll be talking soon.